Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. Today, I have a very special guest. It's my friend, Justine. Hello. She is amazing and awesome. I'm putting all of her links down below. Go like, subscribe, show her some love. I got so many requests from you guys to make something from the show, a series of unfortunate events. So that is exactly what we're gonna be doing today. For those of you who aren't familiar with the series of unfortunate events, the Baudelaire orphans make pasta puttanesca for the evil Count Olaf. And I think it's one of the most iconic dishes from the series. This should be really cool, and I've never made handmade pasta before. So <gasps> this, this is, is going to be, be exciting. Fun. Now, before we get started, I have to make a confession. Yeah? Justine, Are you okay? I, I got to be honest. This recipe that we're making today is pasta puttanesca minus the anchovies. <gasps> and I know what you're saying, Ro. If you make pasta puttanesca without the anchovies, it's not pasta puttanesca. And you are correct. And I'm gonna be putting the recipe down below with anchovies, but we're gonna be leaving out the anchovies because I just don't like them. I don't like anything that's looking back at me. Like, hey. Let's, Let's get started. started. The things you'll need for our homemade pasta dough will be two cups of all-purpose flour, three eggs, two to four tablespoons of water, half a teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of olive oil. And for our red sauce, one third cup cherry tomatoes, quarter cup sliced black olives, two thirds cup strained tomatoes or tomato puree, two tablespoons of capers drained, one tablespoon of olive oil, fresh garlic and we're using one clove, and a bunch of salt for our pasta water. And now now let's put, put it all, all together. together. First step is making our pasta dough. We're using a food processor, but if you don't have a food processor, that's okay. You can still use your hands. We're just making things a little bit easier for us today. Start by adding our flour and then we need to make three little holes with our hands. Justine, this is fun. So make a little hole. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh. This is gonna be a nest for each egg. Sprinkle in a little salt all over. You want to crack the whole egg into the hole. Here we go. Boom. Nice. Let's put this lid on and make some mm. dough. You ready? Yeah, go okay. for it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh God! We have bowl interference. <laughs> Keep pulsing until your dough becomes crumbly. Look at this! Then slowly pour the oil. Nice work! We're yes. doing this! Last thing we're adding is water. This is where we just need to eyeball it and see if our mm -hmm. dough becomes sticky enough. We just don't want it to be too dry. Oh, Look. this is good. This we is good. We got a ball of dough. That's how you know. Sticks together into one big ball. Even when you're making pasta with a machine, you still got to use your hands. You need to knead it. Oh, ah, that's so ah, good. Ah, ah. Sprinkle some flour so the dough doesn't stick. Let's put a little bit of flour on your hands. You're gonna push it forward, pull back, and turn it. Keep kneading with your hands until the dough isn't sticking to you anymore. Mm -hmm. You'll know the dough is ready when you poke it and oh. it's tacky, not sticky. Wrap it up tight. Now let them sit out at room temperature for a half hour to rest. Take a little nap. Yeah, take a little nap. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Our dough has sat out, so now we gotta unwrap it and flatten it out. That's right. I've got my pasta machine. This is my very first pasta maker of my own. Oh. Makes me feel super adult. All right, yeah. we're gonna start with half of the dough. Using your hands, push it down flat. Just put a little bit of flour on the dough. Here we go, first time through. Come nice here, come here, come slow. here. Slow and steady. You know, I absolutely had no idea what we were doing today. Isn't that cool? Yes! Feed it through a couple of times on zero to make sure your dough is really flat. Flip it on one. Oh, it's like a little bit. Baby. Yeah, catch it. Oh, mm. It's gotta go through a few times on each number. I'm running out of arm room. <laughs> oh my goodness. Isn't this crazy? This is insane. Okay, you hold it up there. I'm okay. cranking. This is so fun. Yes, yes, this is it. Yes. This is it. The final countdown. Oh. Dough is rolled, now 
we cut it into pasta. Okay. There's two settings. There's a large setting for larger fettuccine and then smaller fine fettuccine. So we're doing the really small one because I'm trying to make it as similar to spaghetti as possible. Just gently put okay. your hand under and guide as you go. So you can just keep running over there. Yeah, I'm just, I'll be at home. This Whoa. is beautiful. Use your fingers and gently separate any pasta strands that you see clumping. Take a little paintbrush, put in a little bit of flour, and just sprinkle a little over the top. Mm -hmm, yep. Mm -hmm, yes, this is nice. All right, we finished this half, so let's do that second half. Yep, we're gonna do the second half of the pasta. Once all of the pasta is rolled and cut, let it sit for just a few minutes to dry. We've got our pasta resting off to the side, and now it's time to make our red sauce. Yes, and this recipe is super simple. I think that's why the Baudelaire children choose this recipe, is because it's very easy. Justine's got a cutting board, a small, sharp, serrated cutting knife, and she is cutting the little cherry tomatoes in half. And then I am gonna be chopping up a clove of fresh garlic. Now garlic cloves are fun. Are you want to see some fun? I love fun. Place them down on top of the cutting board. Take a large sharp cutting knife. Place on top. We're just gonna give it a whack. Just like that. Pops it right out of there. Oh, we got a little baby one off to the side. Ooh. Perfect. More garlic for us. Now chop this up. We just got done chopping up our tomatoes and our mm -hmm. garlic, and now we're gonna take the rest of our sauce ingredients over to the stove. And we'll be cooking our fresh pasta at the same time. This is also the time, if you're using anchovies, to take them over to the stove and add them to your sauce mixture. Place a pot of water on the stove and turn the heat to high. Add a good amount of salt into your pasta water. It should taste like seawater. Salty, salty. Place a large saute pan on the stove and turn heat to medium high. Add your olive oil and let it heat up. Add your chopped garlic and cook until the garlic becomes fragrant. Then add your strained tomatoes. Oh God, it's hot! I'm so sorry! You got God. And cook for one to two minutes, and then turn your heat to low. Add your tomatoes, capers, olives, and cook for three to four minutes, stirring occasionally. Now place your pasta into your boiling salted water and cook for about one to two minutes or until your pasta starts to float. When your pasta is ready, add it directly into your pan of sauce. I'm using tongs, just pick it up and scoop it over. Toss the pasta around in the sauce, then take your pan back over to your cooking station. Our pasta is finally done cooking and now for our mm. final step we're gonna chop up some parsley yes this is where in the series the little baby sunny is like doo -doo 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 -doo. she's like shredding the parsley with her teeth I wish I had sunny but we don't we don't have a sunny we don't we got this though you want all the leaves you don't want to eat the stems squish it together in a little pile and just keep cutting <laughs> Add your chopped parsley to the pasta and give it a toss. Now it is ready to serve. I'm spinning. And then pick up that little spin ball and plop it on the plate. Mm. Yes. Mm. This, oh, is, man. this is a really hefty serving. <laughs> is that my serving? <laughs> oh, Bring no, me a plate. No, no, Bring no, me no, a plate. Here, here. Are you hungry? Because we... I am. Ta -da! Ta -da! Here is the pasta boutonesca that we made from a series of unfortunate events. A big thank you to you guys for suggesting this and a big thank you to my friend Justine for helping me make this today. Thanks for having me, this was so fun. Again, I'm gonna be putting her links down below. Go like, subscribe, show her some love and I'll be posting pictures in this recipe on rosannapantino.com, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter so you can check out the recipe there and if you guys make this this pasta, please take a picture and send it to me. I love seeing your creations. It just makes me happy, it makes my day. Also, if you have any other ideas for any other nerdy enemies, please leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make it happen. All right, thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye. Okay, now we, we gotta have a bite. Okay, yay. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. This is something that I would order so good. on Postmates and it would be delivered. But it's we so made good. it. I we, cut this tomato. Yeah, you, you did. That.